cause and effect chart helps you identify causes and how they relate to one another. With this understanding, you can apply solutions and prevent future problems. If you are not familiar with cause and effect charts, this video will help you with the basics. First, start with the problem you are investigating, the focal point. Let's choose something easy that we can all relate to. Spilled milk. Why did the milk spill? Because the cup was tipped over. Add a cause to the right of the focal point and type tipped over the cup. Now do it again, only this time ask why or how did I tip over the cup? Because I hit the cup with my hand. And now do it a third time. Why did I hit the cup with my hand? Because I was reaching for my phone. Okay, let's take a closer look at the focal point. We said the milk spilled because I tipped over the cup. But every time I tip over a cup, does milk spill? No, so I must be missing something. To find the missing cause, we treat it like a math problem with a missing variable. For instance, if I told you the answer to an addition problem was 5, and one of the terms was 3, then the missing term would have to be 2. Just apply the same logic to the spilled milk problem. Not only do I need to have tipped over the cup, but there also needed to be milk in the cup and an opening in the cup for the milk to spill out of. Now my causal equation is complete. If I tip over a cup and there is milk in it and there is an opening at the top, the result will always be spilled milk. If this makes sense to you, then you've got it. Now just do it again for each of the other causes you identified. Every time I hit a cup with my hand, do I tip the cup over? No, a certain amount of force is also required. Every time I'm reaching for my cell phone, do I hit a cup with my hand? No, the cup also had to be in the pathway. Now we have the beginning of a simple cause and effect chart that accurately describes the spilled milk event. We can continue with each of the branches in the same way until we have the level of understanding we need. This understanding helps isolate specific causes and apply solutions to stop the problem from happening again. And because all events are subject to cause and effect, this method can be used on any problem. So Logic regularly publishes example root cause analysis reports, and we offer free webinars where you can learn more about building cause and effect charts. With a little practice and the right set of tools, anyone can build a cause and effect chart and start solving problems. For more information, visit our website at www.sologic.com.